Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your trainer for this Microsoft Azure AI Fundamental Certification course. In this video, we are starting a brand new module. The new module is called Natural Language Processing or NLP. And in this lesson, we're going to start with Introduction to NLP. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So what is Natural Language Processing? NLP or Natural Language Processing is the area of AI that deals with creating software that understands written and spoken language. NLP enables you to create software that can analyze text document to extract key phrases and recognize entities such as places, dates and people. NLP can enable you to perform sentimental analysis to determine how positive or negative the language used in a document is. And NLP can help you enable interpret spoken language and synthesize speech responses. And NLP can automatically translate spoken or written phrases between languages as well. And finally, you can use NLP to interpret commands and determine appropriate actions. In Microsoft Azure, you can use text analysis, translated text, speech, and language understanding. For example, you can use text analysis to analyze text documents and extract key phrases, and you can detect entities and evaluate sentiment positive or negative in the document as well. Another service is translated text. You can use this service to translate between more than 60 languages. The next one is speech. You can use the speech service to recognize and synthesize speech and to translate spoken languages. And the last one is language understanding. You can use this language understanding service to train a language model that can understand spoken or text-based commands. The natural language processing includes several services. So let me take you through these services one by one. Let's start with text analysis. The text analysis service is part of the Azure Cognitive Service offering that can perform advanced natural language processing over raw text. To use the text analytics service in an application, you must provision an appropriate resource in your Azure subscription. Then you can either choose a text analysis or a cognitive services. The next one is language detection. You can use the language detection capability of the text analysis service to identify the language in which the text is written. You can submit multiple documents at a time for analysis. For each document to be submitted to it, the service will detect the language name. For example, is it English? The ISO 6391 language code, for example, EN for English, ES for Spanish, and a score indicating a level of confidence in the language detection. For example, consider a scenario where you own and operate a restaurant where customers can complete surveys and provide feedback on the food, the service, staff, and so on. Suppose you have received the following reviews from the customer. Based on the first reviewer says that it's a fantastic place for lunch and the soup was delicious. The second statement is, I can't even read it because I don't understand Spanish. But you get the point, right? The language detection service detect all three and predicted the language, the code, and the score. As you can see that on the third one, it's a combination of, I think, French or Spanish and English. So the confidence level is not high. The next one we need to understand is sentiment analysis. The text analysis service can evaluate text and return sentiment score and labels for each sentence. This capability is useful for detecting positive and negative sentiment in social media, customer reviews, discussion forums, and more. 
Using the pre-built machine learning classification model, the service evaluates the text and returns a sentiment score in the range of 0 to 1. With values closer to 1 being a positive sentiment and scores that are close in the middle range are considered neutral and intermediate. These are the two examples based on the review from a restaurant. So you can read out and figure out like why this one is rated high and the second review is later rated low. Because in the second review, you can see that the food was awful and based on these word, the sentiment analysis predict that this customer review is poor. So what is key phrase extraction? Key phrase extraction is the concept of evaluating the text of a document or documents and then identifying the main points around the context or context of the documents. Consider the restaurant scenario discussed previously. Depending on the volume of surveys you have collected, it can take a long time to read through the reviews. Instead, you can use a key phrase extraction capability for the text analysis service and let the AI algorithm do the work for you. The next one is speech recognition and synthesis. Increasingly, we expect artificial intelligence solution to accept vocal commands and provide spoken responses. Consider the growing number of home and auto systems that you can control by speaking to them, issuing commands such as turn off the lights and solicitating verbal answers to questions such as what's the weather today like or will it rain today? To enable this kind of interaction, the AI system must support two capabilities. The first one is speech recognition and the second one is speech synthesizers. In the speech recognition, gives you the ability to detect and interpret spoken input. And the speed synthesizes gives the ability to generate spoken output. And Microsoft Azure offers both speech recognition and speed synthesis capabilities through the speech cognitive service. To use the speech service in an application, you must provision an appropriate resource in your Azure subscription. You can either use speech resource or a cognitive service. Let's understand the Speech-to-Text API. You can use the Speech-to-Text API to perform real-time or batch transcription of audio into a text format. The audio score for transmission can be real-time audio stream for a microphone or an audio file. The next one is Real-Time Transcription. The real-time Speech-to-Text allows you to transcribe text in audio streams. You can use real-time transcription for presentations, demo, or any other scenario where a person is speaking. And the third one is batch transcription. Not all speech-to-text scenarios are real-time. You may have audio recordings stored on a file share, a remote server, or even on Azure storage. You can point to audio files with a shared access signature and asynchronously receive transcription results. And under the text-to-speech API, enables you to convert text input to audible speech, which can either be played directly through a computer speaker or written to an audio file. So let's understand machine translation. As organizations and individuals increasingly need to collaborate with people in other cultures and geographic locations, the removal of language barriers have become a significant problem. One solution is to find bilingual or even multilingual people to translate between languages. However, the scarcity of such skills and the number of possible language combination can make this approach difficult to scale. Increasingly, automated translation sometimes known as machine translation, is being employed to solve this problem. A literal translation is where each word is translated to the corresponding word in the target language. This approach presents some issues. For one case, there may not be an equivalent word in the target language. Another case is where literal translation can change the meaning of the phrase or not get the context correct. And the second one is text and speech translation. 
The text translation can be used to translate documents from one language to another. Translate email communication that come from foreign governments and even provide the ability to translate web pages on the internet. Many times you will see a translate option for post on social media sites or the big search engine can offer to translate entire web pages that are turned in search result. Speech translation is used to translate between spoken languages and sometimes directly, which is speech to speech translation, and sometimes by translating to an intermittently text format, which is which is speech to text translation. Microsoft Azure provides cognitive services that support translation. Couple of services are translator search and speech. So let me show you where to find that. I'm on my Azure portal. So under AI and machine learning, I'm going to search for translator text. This is a service which supports text to text translation. This translator text service is easy to integrate in your applications, websites, and tools and solutions. This service uses a natural machine translation or NMT model for translation, which analyzes the semantic context of the text and renders a more accurate and complete translation as a result. Another service is speech, and the speech translation service includes speech to text, text to speech, and speech translation as well. And you can use the speech translation API to translate spoken audio from a streaming source, such as a microphone or audio file, and return the translation as text or an audio stream. This enables scenarios such as real-time closed captioning for speech or simultaneous two-way translation for a spoken conversation. Let's learn about the language understanding capability of artificial intelligence. As AI grows ever more sophisticated, conversational interactions with applications and digital assistance is becoming more and more common, and in specific scenarios can result in human-like interactions with AI agent. Common scenarios for this kind of solution include customer support applications, reservation system, and home automation among others. To enable these kind of conversational solutions, Computers need not only be able to accept language as an input, but also to be able to interpret the semantic meaning of the input. In other words, understanding what is being said. On Microsoft Azure, language understanding is supported through language understanding service. To work with the language understanding service, you need to take into account these three concepts, utterance, entities, and intents. An utterance is an example of something user might say and which your application must interpret. For example, when using a home automation system, a user might be using following utterances, switch the fan on or turn on the light, etc. An entity is an item to which an utterance refers. For example, a fan and a light in the following utterances. An intent represents the purpose or goal expressed in user's utterance. For example, for both the previously considered utterance, the intent is to turn a device on. So in your language understanding application, you might define a turn on intent that is related to these utterances. Creating a language understanding application consists of two main tasks. First, you must define entities, intents, and utterances with which to train the language model, referred to as authoring the model. Then you must publish the model so that client application can use it for intent and entity prediction based on user input. For each of the authoring and prediction tasks, you need a resource in your Azure subscription. The two services you need in Azure are language understanding and cognitive services. So let me show you where you can find language understanding. So I'm on my Azure portal. Go to create a new cognitive service. And under the catalog, search for language understanding. So this is a dedicated resource for language understanding. 
which can be either an authoring or a prediction resource. So that concludes the first lesson in natural language processing. In the next video, we're going to learn about using NLP services. So we'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.